and we're live. I'm also. We were talking about the uh, the the uh, the Georgia runoff for Senate, and I know this might sound like a boring topic, but like it's been super interesting to me because I am bombarded by the ads for this thing. Would one of you? As though I have no idea what's going on. All right. So they're having a runoff. Uh, January 5th, I believe, is the final day of voting. As I'm told every day, voting is open now, though. Uh, and it's David Perdue, the uh, incumbent Republican, versus uh, John Ossoff, the dangerous, radical John Ossoff, who took yeah. money from Chinese communists and tried to hide it. He wants to defund the police. Uh, you guys like a challenging Democrat. Yeah, he's the he's a white guy, uh, clean cut, skinny guy, looks pretty young, looks like he's 35, 40, maybe. And uh, David Perdue is worth like, I think, five million dollars, like rich old white guy. Uh, the other Republican who's also uh, running for her seat is Kelly Leffler. She is this cross eyed blonde <laughs> chick who is the richest member of Congress. I don't remember exactly what she's worth, but it's in the order of 200 million, something like that. And um, she's running against Raphael Warnock, uh, who is a, uh, a, a pastor. Uh, he's Pastor Raphael Warnock, this black guy who is cut from the same cloth, seemingly as um, a, that, that uh, Reverend Wright guy. Like they literally have clips of him saying, God damn America. And uh, God and saying, yeah, I remember when God, that was their no, plan they have they have Raphael Warnock saying it as well. Oh, okay. Like these guys don't know when to shut the fuck up. Like like you don't I, you're in church. How how was goddamn even coming up in church? Like 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 yeah, you made your point some other way. You shouldn't be able to say that. You would imagine that any past because I remember as a kid growing up in the church, like goddamn was seen as like an echelon above like fuck. Yeah, it's the worst God, thing you could say. Dirty word, but saying goddamn or like Jesus Christ was like the the huge no no. But yeah. anyway, just to clarify like that's Loeffler, she is currently holding the seat or she had the seat and she's she defending for it. The Republicans yeah, the, are the, the incumbents, the, both of them. Okay. Republicans are the incumbents. And uh and so Raphael Warnock Warnock this uh pastor um the attack ads against him are insane. Like I get them everywhere. Local radio, every station, every station where I'm listening to 70s sports radio talk radio they've all got the commercials all of my youtube commercials are about this shit it's about it, he's he's saying one of his quotes is uh, you can't serve the military and god which i don't know what his whole larger point was but it's like why are you saying that if you're ever going to run for public office and then the goddamn america and then um uh, he de apparently he defended a quote-unquote cop murderer and when i heard that i was like all right you're speaking my language okay, tell me what. <laughs> uh, and uh and just one thing after another about about this guy, they're painting them both as radicals, and how if they get control of the of if they win their seats, you know, it'll be a Republicans radical Congress. Do that. Based on yeah. what you said, only well, the guy who said goddamn, time. only the guy who said goddamn America sounds radical. The other guy doesn't. But you didn't really um, say much about him or her, whichever. Yeah, they said he took money from Chinese communists, and he wants to. He, he said what? he wouldn't defund police. But then and they play this quote where he's saying, like, police funding would be on the line, uh, you know, for police departments if they didn't do X, Y and Z. And and it's like, it's like yeah, good. I, I don't I don't care about that. But uh, it, it, it is kind of that situation this time where if, the, if these two Democrats want win the the, the Senate will be uh, Democrat controlled with a Democratic president. That'd be quite a bit of power. Um, but. In the house, Kelly right? Leffler is the. I don't know what the polls say, but I would almost guarantee the Republicans are ahead by like 60 40. Let me find you a picture of Kelly Leffler. The Democrats are leading. So I was, I was actually, this is something I've been following. Democrats are leading both polls. Uh, Ossoff is up by 0.9% within the margin of error, and Warnock is up by 1.8%. Holy shit. That's Again, shocking. within the margin of error. It's close. And it's um, close. yeah, it's super close. And uh, but five thirty eight, you know they they just sort of accumulate the polls and and do their analysis of it. They're like all the polling people are sitting this one out. The polls we have are C minus and like B rated polling agencies. The the ones that they have more faith and trust in, they uh, they're not they're not really doing it. They're not conducting polls. So these polls that the Democrats are winning, no, less reliable than normal. Wow, Do you think I never noticed Kyle. her being cross-eyed. Like I was saying the other day, like if I were Raphael Warnack or uh, 
John Ossoff, I would have an attack ad for Kelly Leffler. I'd show a picture like this, and I'd be like, crooked Kelly Leffler has a distorted <laughs> view for Georgia's future. <laughs> <laughs> she can't see the forest for the trees when it comes to getting low-income workers dependable jobs. And just, just like not. She's not, always not, got one eye on her own interests and her own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I guess you I haven't seen. I do feel seen bad for people crazy eyes genuinely because, like, you can't troll that. I guess you haven't seen the counter like attack ads, but Purdue and Lawler are both getting a lot of negative attention because when COVID was sort of like, like when the when our elite, when our leaders knew about COVID and we didn't, they sold their stocks. Uh, Purdue yeah, she's was, the one made a bunch of money. She right? and or Purdue both, both made a bunch of money and prevented a bunch of losses. So they profited off the COVID thing uh -huh. while telling the rest of the country that this thing is no big deal. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. And But meanwhile, not gonna, we're not going to shut down. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. Everything's fine. Don't worry about Corona. Meanwhile, they're adjusting their stock portfolios to make them to make money implying that they do know it's a big deal, right? If they actually thought it wasn't a big deal, they wouldn't have adjusted their stock portfolios. Yeah. Yeah. So they're being tricky. So what is, what is she rich from? Is, did she marry into a wealthy family? Is she like an oil baroness? Like She's what a is, woman, you know, she did. Oh, or did she, in, did she invent trifocals? <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess, I guess Ben Franklin did that. Where so. did Loeffler get her money? Um, from Chinese communists. Eight, she's worth 800 million. Damn. Why even run for office? Who fucking cares? Go buy one of the good islands. You don't even need to go to Spider Cove. You can you can buy one of the really good ones that probably has good... She could just buy Madagascar. Is that even a country or just kind of where we keep goofy animals? <laughs> Is there a president of Madagascar? Is it a lemur? Is it a lemur? There's a. It seems like the kind of place that would have a premiere. Damn, they do have a president. 26 million people live there. Wouldn't you know it? Oh, I'm bored of this. Yeah. It uh, looks like anyway, her husband made the money. Uh, I think she had 200 and he's got 600. Oh, so she's oh. just barely keeping it together with that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, just like combined, scanning. they're at 800. The story behind the Loeffler's fortune begins with her husband, Jeff Spreacher. Spreacher was a successful power plant deliver developer living in Beverly Hills, negotiated to buy a struggling power plant, yada, yada, yada. So that's as far as I got when I said that. Yeah. Um, well, I maybe we could get some legal marijuana if, uh, if both of these cats get elected. Um, that's all I care about, obviously. That would be great if it happened. Oh. But I'm, I'm keeping expectations very, very low for that. As am I. And then her husband hired her at the power plant that he runs. Nice. This oh, the power plant. Uh, <laughs> it is. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm being sexist. I'm just like, half the time women are super rich. They didn't get there on their own. Whoa! Well, <laughs> noticing patterns and applying them to reality, Woody. That's not very PC of you. <laughs> you know, you that, my friend. <laughs> so we'll yeah. see. Uh, like she sucks if she was doing all that. I think the Republicans are going to win. Money. I think I only. Be I'm just basing on this one thing. Republicans always win the low turnout elections. And this is an like an off cycle January election. You know, if it was if it was in the midst of a presidential election, the Democrats would have a better shot. But yeah. whenever they Obama's do, campaigning for him. I, I hear you. I, I don't know. I'm I I'm just based on that little thing. I think the Republicans are gonna win. They always win the low turnout yeah. elections. The commercials have like all like there's no white people in the commercials. It's just lots of black people being talking about uh, racial issues and civil rights. Good I, diversity. I think the Democrats no lean into that too hard, like as a marketing thing. Like we are the race for people. I'm sorry, we are the the party for the people of color. Okay, okay, but you make it seem like just people of color. Like you, you know, whenever you'd run ads or like all your diversity stuff, like Taylor mentioned, doesn't include white guys at all. It, it of course it doesn't. <laughs> like. But it should. There are white people that vote that way too, or at least I'm they want them to. to. Um, I, I, know, I think they're making a mistake by leaning too hard into the people of color thing. I, I agree with you. I think they'd be better off to to pursue the like the white voters early as well too. You know, usually you're not going to be punished for trying to throw a wider net. Yeah, I don't know. We'll know in five days. I think it's the fifth when uh, polls close.